Laylee is a lovely 55 year old woman who loves to work out and last fall 2023 she was having lower glute symptoms close to her sit bones and where the hamstring tendons attach. They got much worse in January 2024 when she fell on a wet marble floor and landed on her cossacks. The good news is after her working her sciatic nerve entrapments in her butt cheeks and her hamstrings so far and in five visits she is about 50% better already and she's able to continue doing her workouts and she loves it. A quick note about my face. I was walking on the street on Monday doing some breath work while I was walking, which you're not supposed to do. And I was doing a breath hold. I passed out and landed on my face, which is why this looks like this right now. So enjoy it. <laughs> Pretty much like 15 minutes after I'm laying flat and I feel it. How intense are the 15 minutes? Um, I would say, I would say I feel it. It's really hard, those numbers. You would have eight out of 10 worse pain and then a five will be at rest. Yeah, I'm saying it's probably like a five. Achy, burning, stabby, throbby, dull, tightness. I would say it's like, um, like achy tight. Sitting, sitting for a long time and sitting on the edge of my seat. How's sitting at work? It's fine until the end of the day. I feel it. I feel it. Five? Like, yeah, I think five is good. When you touch your toes, does it produce a pulling or any type of, does it increase the achiness in the glue or anything? I mean, it does have a, there's a pulling. Her symptoms are a little bit unique because she lays down for five minutes, her symptoms come. She feels at the beginning of a workout, it goes away as she continues working out. She can run with no problem. She's very flexible. She has about 140 degrees of straight leg raise hamstring flexibility. Normally it's 90 degrees and it doesn't provoke any of her symptoms, although she does feel a good amount of pulling when she does it. She has some sciatic nerve entrapment and she also likely has some hamstring tendinosis. So I'm just treating to see if there's any one spot that is not moving. If I can feel a really bad spot that's glued down, and then she also confirms that that's ah, a spot that's, ah, say yeah. pineapple if you need it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that just means that that's probably the spot that's causing all of her problems. It's five out of 10 pull before. I mean, it's, I, I, don't, I don't feel it much at all. Sag nerve at her hamstring down low. Go ahead. Anywhere where your side nerve is caught or stuck, it will put more tension on that spot in the butt cheek. So we want to relieve all these spots so that the pain goes away and stays away. When symptoms are experienced near the sit bone, I typically look at the hamstring tendon for a hamstring tendonitis, but because her symptoms are better when she's warm and worse when she's colder, this is looking like a hamstring tendinosis problem. And when I palpated her hamstring tendons, they felt about moderately degenerated on both sides. There is more entrapment here. The tension is building way faster. She doesn't like it. Okay, fine. Right okay. Tapped out. Aha, ha. She's alive. <laughs> yes. Treating her hamstring tendinosis with the pressure wave. Moderate to severe. Got it. Lainey, you are going to push down into my shoulder. That? Yep. The radial shock wave is really effective on tendons and hamstring tendinosis is no different. So we're making sure that we get some stem cells and blood, blood vessels into the tendon to help it regenerate because she's very, very flexible. It may have aerostomal syndrome. It's a connective tissue disorder where people have very lax, they have very extreme ranges of motion and that just makes joints and different tissues more susceptible to stresses after her working her sciatic nerve entrapments in her butt cheeks and her hamstrings so far. And in five visits, she is about 50% better already and she's able to continue doing her workouts and she loves it. So the key part for hamstring tendonitis, it will get worse with activity. Hamstring tendinosis will usually get better with activity and get worse when you're cold or when you're at rest. So now you know. If you'd like to see more about how we fix chronic pain at Barefoot Rehab in New Jersey and with adhesion release methods across the world, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos that we will be releasing each week.